Oh crap, I need to do that too. Hi, <laughs> one welcome of us to Dirty to... 20 Gaming. My name is Bison and tonight we're going to be playing some uh, Cyberpunk Red. Um, the name of the show is Carnage Heights because I can remember things. Um, so these wonderful people are joining me here tonight. Um, I apologize for being a little bit off track. I'm really off today. I don't know. Anyways, let's start with Kraken. You are exactly. amazing as always. Hello everybody, I'm Kraken. Tonight I'm gonna play our crazy uh, Dionysus of uh, Slavic Dionysus of Cyberpunk world. Uh, the biggest communis communism builder uh, in Night City. On Fridays I also play on this channel uh, in an amazing game with just the right amount of warlocks. I play Ariodo, opera singer who is fighting for immortality, but would rather a single song for everybody. And that's all from me for now. I'm very happy to be here. Next, let's go with magic. Literally, right as I find the links. Um... <laughs> Timing. So, hi, my name is Sarah. Uh, you can find me over on Tangor Productions, doing things that'll eventually come out. Um, there is stuff coming in the future that I just can't talk about. Well, we're back to that now. Yeah, I can't. I can't talk about it yet. I haven't been the, given the clear. Um, and also, I keep forgetting to talk about it. But I'm technically in the face of horror co competition again. So please go vote for me. I'm even. I keep getting farther each year, so please, it will. It would be so cool to win this. <laughs> so yeah, that's all my stuff. All right. Uh, next, let's go with exit. Hi, I'm Ruth. Um, today I am playing our resident fixer, Exit, who is um ready to get down to business to defeat the wrath and shift. Um, on Thursdays, not for the next little bit, I'll be back in November, but um, when I come back, you'll see me in the Thursday game as Des Rai. Uh, and Sunday, I, you can find me as Reeve, forgetting about my own characters, because um, I can never have a smooth go at this. <laughs> um, I forgot that I'm here all the time. That's why I interrupt I, now. Hello, it's me. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, go, perfect. Yep, you're the last one. Go yes. Ahead. Okay. Hi, I am the Scarred Adventurer. Uh, <clears throat> I am here enough. Uh, uh, a lot of my stuff has already been said by the wonderful uh, people at Tangor Productions, uh, aka Sansera. So, uh, otherwise you'll find me here on sorry, on Thursdays as uh, Lucas Alexander Warcrest. On Fridays, you will find me uh, coming in as Rome once I'm back, because I've just been ill. Uh, on Sundays, you will find me running my own game, uh, The City of Mist Campaign, Storied City. I, and I don't think I'm missing anything. There's something that may become, that I think will eventually be coming on Wednesdays, but we'll talk about that when it comes, as opposed to anything else. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm really excited to be here, and I like Steph. <laughs> All right. Lastly, I am Bison Stonefist. Um, I'm here three nights a week. Tonight, congratulations, you made it. Uh, it's Carnage Heights, Cyberpunk Red. Thursdays, I play Encino, the Dragonborn Paladin Ranger Big Damn Hero, on Sarah's 5th uh, edition D&D Fool's Gold campaign called King's Pyrite. And on Mondays, I play the lovable loser, Jack Aldridge. Let's be honest about that. He's he's kind of a bum. 
um, on our Buffy the Vampire Slayer he's RPG. Cool. He's a cool bum. He's a cool bum. He's one of those neat bums. So he's not he a bum. Booth. He's a thick ass. <laughs> We're not going to get into that. Um, he's actually, actually, I think he's the only one who hasn't bared ass on that show. Um, anyways, that's on the Buffy the Vampire Slayer TTRPG it's Grave New World. Um, check that out on Monday nights. That one gets a little, um, a little saucy. Um, Cyberpunk Red is written by Mike Pondsmith and published by Art Halsorian Games. Our VTT of choice is Roll20. Character art is done through Hero Forge and or Scarred's Fingers, but the art's not there because I forgot and we haven't, like, reloaded it yet. Um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, we can thank Pixabay for the background image and our resident artist, Thunders, Thunderscape7, for making a background art. Uh, before we begin, I would like to give a word of caution. The world of Cyberpunk Red is a dystopia in every sense of the word, and contains the same problems we face today cranked up to 11. Our players have an X card that they can use at any time if they are uncomfortable with the subject matter, but you guys don't. I'm not telling you to not watch the show, but if you are uncomfortable with tonight's themes, which are going to include um, drug addiction and potential emotional manipulation, Tonight may not be for you. But now that I've killed the mood, on with the show. Okay, let's bring up and my these notes. these intros really sound similar to something I used to do. Hey, I may have actually stolen them from uh, other shows on this channel. Um, anyways. Sharing's caring. <clears throat> Sharing's caring, yeah. Good GMs borrow, great stealing. GMs steal. Exactly. Yeah, it was inspiration. <laughs> Where are my notes? I am not I... complaining. I, I'm I'm glad it's working. <laughs> Making the rounds. Oh, it's it oh, sounds it's good. on a different one. My notes are everywhere because of this episode. Just all Yay. over the place. Come Don't on. Don't worry, we understand. You yeah. are making notes. Okay. I truly, I truly understand. Yeah. Especially with the Thursday game, I tr okay. I, I understand. Finish that, finish that. Okay. I read a page and then I improvise everything else. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we are going to fast forward a little bit. Um, the last scene we had Magic here and Magic's older brother Indy in a rundown bar, the same rundown bar that we keep going to, the Broken Bones, because it's the only one I have a map to. Um... And uh, they kind of sparred verbally for a bit. And Indy advised Magic to go to the Argent Key. So we pick up there. Magic has changed into some more formal looking, or not formal, official looking clothing. Um, the taxi drives away. The corporate headquarters for the Argent Key is a relatively small building by Night City standards, maybe 20 floors, in a quiet part of the new Watson development in the north of the city. You can't even see the crater from here, let alone Carnage Heights. The broad stairs leading to the entrance are lined with real trees and bushes, the soft shh of sprinkler systems keeping them hydrated. The sound of birds chirping from hidden speakers is a corny, but appreciated touch. White-clad security stops you at the door and checks you for weapons. Are you currently carrying? Um, I have them both on me, but if they take them, she's like, you can have them. I didn't like them. I never wanted them. This is a gift. You are taking these from me. Please do the guards they don't seem to say anything at first but uh, when they come back and uh, give you a wristband to get through the door um, the one on the left says um, official policies we do have to return private property Head to the front desk to the register, please. Right. 
and she she's exactly following orders and she's making sure that if there is anyone else in here that they can see her they can oh yeah yeah she's not she's not hiding at all anymore so silver hair and everything oh yeah okay walking into the lobby you can see your father's touch in everything the black marble floor has silver streaks in it the video slideshow on the one wall are all silver lock properties or front businesses you know all over the world the suits and dresses worn by the employees all have silver highlights it's a nauseating reminder that your old man still rules here even though he's rotting behind bars outside the city the woman at the desk has her hair styled like yours was when you're magic. The streamer, not the corporate, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, she doesn't immediately look up from her work when she starts to speak. Uh, Welcome to Argent Key Security. How may we... Holy shit. Her eyes widen as her hair suddenly shifts to brown and wavy. Hi, Ma... Miss Sill, um... Ma'am, how can I help you? You can see she, as she's talking, you can see she's madly typing away. If audibly sweating was a thing, she would be. I'm here to see Adrian. Okay. She's like, um, okay. Uh, give me a human perception roll. That's in awareness or social. Fourteen. Fourteen. Awareness. No, that's the wrong one shifting notes madly um you notice a couple of agents in the or a couple of you know random suits in the lobby check their agents almost simultaneously and then each of them surreptitiously nopes the fuck out through a security door um yes just just one moment ma'am and she takes like a little reader thing kind of like at a checkout scans mm -hmm. your wristband and you see a um an elevator open up behind you or behind her and to your left mm -hmm. um just head that that way mr Locke will be there will be able to see you in just a moment thank you and um magic just doing this because of course she would she already has a signed like picture for her and she gives it to her. She blushes almost immediately. And her face is like, oh, um, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day. You too. As you walk past, you can kind of almost see her squealing to herself. As she uh, t opens a drawer and sticks the very carefully takes the uh autographed photo and puts it in her drawer uh okay next part so the next part will go yeah um the elevator it's fast it's quiet you barely even notice the the movement and it dings maybe a second later you're at the top floor. You can already see that there's a distinct difference in elevation just looking out the window. Uh, there's only two rooms on this floor that you can see. Um, the first one you see, it's got the big glass door, you know, real nice. But it's, you know, it's kind of frosted from one side, so you can't really see into it. Mm -hmm. The name on the, the plaque is Adrian Locke. Yeah, I'll knock. Uh, come in. And opens the door. Uh, you see this man, he's about six foot tall. Um, you're looking... You see him from behind because he's looking out the window, talking to someone on his agent. And a uh, nice black uh, pinstripe suit, silver pinstripes, because of course. 
um, his black hair is just starting to pepper with salt. You know, he's just starting to get that white around the temples. And he, as you walk in, he turns off the phone, or he's like, oh, where's the... Look, Indy, it's probably just another biosculpt off the street. I'm sure she fooled you, but I've we've already had three this week. He turns around, and now your name is... Oh, fuck me. It's actually you. Not a biosculpt. And when he turns around, you realize that it isn't just some guy. This is Mr. White. There is an immediate look of panic that has to shift right into... Back into this kind of cold thing that for, that she's doing. Don't do this to me, camera! Don't! <laughs> Laura, what are you doing here? No one has called me that in a very long time. You've never let me call you ma'am. What are yeah. you doing here? Can I close the door? Please. And no she closes be listening to this. She closes it. I came back for well, my title. You know what the old man always said I was supposed to be doing. Are you sure? When we talked about this, you never wanted to come back. Over the past couple of months, I have been in Night City. Sure. Trying to do things the right way. Only to be proven I'm not... One for the streets. Corporate life's not going to be easy. What is it that you told me? The devils you know versus the devils you don't know? You can see him kind of... He doesn't say it, but you can hear him saying, I never should have fucking said that. <laughs> All right. Picks up his phone again. He's like, cancel the trip. I'm going to have to do some work here today. Quick. Welcome to the Argent Key, Miss Silverlock. And we are going to shift over to Kraken, who was being administered to by his physician slash therapist. Mm -hmm. Um, Call Peter. I'll be right back. Yes. All right. Because um, he had twenty six pints of guilt. Oh, uh, where are we here? Twenty six of forty. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, I'm just going through my notes. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Um. So yeah, she the the receptionist takes you to a sort of side room. It looks kind of like a typical doctor's office. There's a bed, you know, yes. cabinets with random crap, charts, and a motivational poster with a cat. Yes, hang in, hang in there, but the cat is a cyberpunk cat. Yeah, the cyberpunk cat. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like stay here, lie down on the bed, and try not to think about the voices. I need you to take a resist uh, drugs test. Yes. B because I had the idea to give them my last my last uh, pill of rainbow for testing. Yeah. One moment I'm going to find my character sheet and then I'm going to roll resist the torture it's in body. One moment. Yes, here it is. The the drug. Um, 
slow. You're not having a good time. When the voices are just... The second she leaves, it comes in like one at a time. You know, you have to get out. They're lying to you. This is all fake. You know, follow the cat. You'll be safe with the cat. And it's just, you're just a gullible net runner. You know, you never should have left Russia. It's just all coming in at you all at once. And Kraken is like, it's it's the cat's fault. It's some AI thing. Could I do a perception to uh, look for uh, like rubbing alcohol or, or something uh, like that? Because now he uh, now he feels like he needs a drink. <laughs> feels like he needs a drink. Yeah. Um... Or disinfect, disinfectant, or rubbing alcohol. Or Let's something go like that. with, um, I think, conceal, reveal object. Yeah, that's an that would be That would be because you were looking for logical. something you're not sure where it is. Yes, it's in awareness. Awareness, yeah. One moment, please. Conceal, reveal object. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, it. Like, the first cabinet you try is locked. The second cabinet you try has, like, gauze and stuff in it. Would I try lockpicking the the first one with my shitty knife that I got uh, from Red Dead? Yeah, give me a, um, I think that's what, basic tech? That was a quality knife. I'm kidding. (laughs) Quality shit knife. I think lockpick is actually a skill. An ability, yeah. Think maybe Pick lock, you're right. Sorry, that's in technique. Yeah. Technique. Okay, one moment. Uh, pick lock six. 26. <laughs> so your desire for rugging, rubbing alcohol yeah. overrides your desire to get the hell out of this room. You jam your knife into the lock. And the Slavic blood in me wants yeah. alcohol. <laughs> the Slavic. And yeah. you find. Okay. Um, give me high or low? Uh, high. Okay. Because he's high. Because he's high. It's uh, 70% isopropyl. Yeah. He's gonna drink that to keep okay. the voices silent. Okay. So you find a thing of rubbing alcohol, <laughs> and you just down it. Give me a resist drugs. Yeah, give me resist drugs, yeah. and then give me an endurance check after that. Okay, that's They're both um, in body. Yeah, and and he crit on the lock picks. Yeah, he, I just he got a twenty six on yes, the because a high high kraken is a crit can and stupid stuff. Yep. Like always, one moment. We're just I'm saying, sorry, high I, cracking and gets added. Is that's that's the. Yeah, that's the I thing. get too many windows up. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, why so. is my mouse not working? Gosh, oh, no. then get. Uh, okay, so it's uh, resistor to drugs first, and then, uh, and then endurance, which is right next endurance. to it. And then twenty-five. And then a nine. <laughs> so you don't go blind. That's the good yeah. sign. The good the good the good news. The bad news is You up took. You yeah. It's it's rainbow. Yeah. But rainbows but, uh, all over the floor just mm-hmm. as the doctor walks in. But he's kind of feeling better now because he's uh he got rid of the pill. I think. Yeah, or some um, of the, the the doctor comes in and just as you just, I'm not so, gonna... so he he would uh, take off his short, his juicy crop top, and he would try to uh, crack it, crack it. That's not that's not necessary, dear. We have people. Oh, hello, Doctor Bing. I'm very sorry. I was trying to get rid of the 
unhealthy substance from my temple body. He relapsed. Yes, but the I... good news is I now I had an epiphany when the uh, cyber psycho was shooting at me and I was kissing the pavement. I now know how they do it with the cat. The, uh, like I was listening to a story about the agents. The agents wa was developed as a game. So uh, the cat is really a computer program. It's like uh, pseudo -intellect intellectual stuff. You know, it was programmed as a game, and and Mr. Mr. Cheshire, he's so stupid but so brilliant at the same time. He is using the original role of the agent to give a personalized adventure, and I think this pill, this pill is some nanobots. Have you tested? Have you tested it for what it is? And I want to roll. A roll a resistor to Rex to give him my last pill of rainbow. Yeah, uh, resist torture drugs to see if you can actually yeah. bury If I fail, I, I will take it in, the, in front of yeah. you because it's funny. <laughs> okay, one more time. It's this one. Yep. No. I'll so, give this to you. Um, yeah. Before, I wanted to give it to you, but it spoke to me. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to test it. The doctor is truly speechless. He's, they're just like... Bracken, I, I, I need you to just sit for a moment, please. You're clearly injured. We will deal with this in the morning. But, but there is no time, there is so much to do, they're gonna take away my home and I got to do some shopping and there is a lot of stuff going on. They're gonna take away your home, but you're also worried about shopping? <laughs> that whole sentence was hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Like, that, that's the crack and fight. Because I need <laughs> to shop to save my home. It's the capitalism way and I hate it, but it's true. I cannot stay here. I, I, I wanted to g give you the information that they are using the agents to control our, our minds. Like the Cheshire. Oh, and I got another idea. I want to go uh, the, the the Piranha Party Gang. I want to uh, reverse engineer Rainbow with them. And then we will take the power from the cats. And, and everything will be better. Yeah, the entire time the doctor is just applying bandages and hypo sprays and stuff. Just listening to you honestly sound like a crazy person i'm just yes. gonna be totally fair that's and that the, is the idea the idea the cra that's the crap because he's still at humanity one so he still has delusion delusions of grandeur and he still uh got uh, like uh i forgot the term but he's pa oh paranoid yeah yeah and that's um, the reason i was like well i will i will see what I am able to do the nanotechnology is very outside of my education. Um, it is definitely something to think about. And there's just like this pregnant pause as um, a person wearing like a pastel pink almost like it looks like the weird mix between hospital scrubs and a toga and they just they come in this like skooka 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 with the uh with the the cleaning mop and bucket and they just start cleaning up the vomit which to you by the way still looks like a puddle of rainbows kraken would try to grab the mop and clean it himself just just allow them to clean but, but it's my uh, fault. I, I did the mess. Me, and I should give me a perception check. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, perception, it's an awareness. 
Yeah, awareness, sorry. Yes. 16. This person is wearing a paper bag over their head. And on the front, there are two holes cut out. And written on it is, this is not my face. That's a cool fashion statement. I love it. I am I am not me. This is not who I am. I am not me. This is not who I am. And they're just mopping. They they don't seem to respond to what you say. I feel like hugging this person, but I think they don't want to be hugged, so let Jonathan <laughs> deal with his <laughs> cult. Uh let Jonathan finish this mess he, he has much to oh much to he's talk. one of those okay and and, mm. and kraken would take his cell phone and start trading uh no he doesn't need his uh, agent for that he would just put on his goggles and start trading a shopping list to exit i need to buy some things to save our house <laughs> and he would send her his shopping list like a Taking 3D printer, a no, gas mask, and six radios for everybody. I'm just going to say, above board, your messages and the way Kraken talks is absolutely hilarious. Because Thank you. I would say, like, just out of context, it is the most bonkers <laughs> stream of consciousness I've yes, ever Yes, that's heard. the idea. I, I adore that it's... That I get the shots I am shooting for. I'm, sh- I'm shooting for that crazy vibe. Exit. So I'm very happy it works. <laughs> you get the response. Come back clean. It'll be a treat. Uh, I will try, but no promises. I find that no promises on my end. Ooh. That's that's a good <laughs> incentive. And and that's the end of the conversation. Yeah, and she doesn't the, respond the, after that. Yeah, the, 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 that would be the the user is going to sleep mode. <laughs> no, she's just got other shit. Yeah, Left I on know. delivered. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. That was great. Okay. Poor doctor being. <laughs> so we, so cracking you after the doctor treats you. They, you know guide you out um and uh you head out into the courtyard and you see red death sitting in the middle of one of those uh sand gardens and he's sitting on one rock and next to him is another rock with a bunch of small stones on top of it and he's just having a conversation with the air Yeah, I do that sometimes as well. Rocks are very <laughs> smart. It's all normal for Kraken. Red Death, you look down at the cup of green tea in your hand and you realize you're holding a stone. Kraken comes around the corner looking less high than when he left. And significant. Camera to- eight. I need to get my I need to get my system expunged and just drop the stone. All right, we're gonna cut that just, scene there. The entire time yeah. was just goddamn Poe and his voodoo magic, goddamn bullshit. <laughs> I told you I had a solution for that. Very excited to play that one out. Uh, we're going to go back to magic real quick. Um, at this point, you and Adrian have talked for a little bit. Um, he initially offers you a position in their PR department. Okay. He's like, it's it's out of the way. We'll have you do some oh, basic, uh, some basic things. And I'll be honest, our public relations is awful. These people I've been sent for employees are mostly garbage. I mean what the Argent Key needs is a better face. 
And that's what I'm offering. He stops for a moment and he reaches to his bridge of his nose and new face, huh? That'll that'll be interesting. Um, let me get you set up in a in an office and we'll have something figured out here. Now, you will need staff, of course, and he hands you a portfolio of various. Um, positions like a driver a personal assistant um you know people in it for at first uh she'll look through it and she goes there are three that i want eventually but i realize that might take some time to get them to agree since i do need some leverage on them but for right now, and she pulls out a, um, one of them and gives it back. This net runner will, will absolutely help me. Perfect. I'll get them reassigned. Um, anyways, you, you, the, you go over a little bit more basic paperwork, and then you hear a knock at the door. Oh, your new intern is here. No. They open the door. It's, uh, you know, they look pretty nondescript, to be honest. You know, they would fit in at any office building anywhere in any century or any decade. Um, and it's like, Laura, this is 41K. I believe you are actually familiar with them. And they pipe like, um, actually, I've I've been moderator for you for about six months now. I do recognize the name. Thank you. Um. Full disclosure, ma'am, I was told to do that by our boss, but it's glad to actually work with you in person now. I'm not surprised. Um. But. It is nice to have you on my team. Likewise, ma'am. Uh, 401k, could you take Laura to her new office? Also, call me Magic. Magic. Take her to Magic's new office. <clears throat> and then they hold the door open for you and you get to know them a little better. They, you find out that um, they, they're from Night City. You know, their commute is pretty long. Um, uh, they also do work on the side because they don't have a whole lot of uh, extra stuff to do. So if you need them for anything outside of uh, outside of work, they be more than happy to help you with it. Um, when you get to the office, uh, you know, they let you in. Um, there's no name tag on the door, but you can see that a name has already been taken off. Mm -hmm. um, you're on the 13th floor. Uh, the room is itself is dark. The curtains have been drawn, and there's uh, just a simple desk on the, uh, you know, far end. Yeah, she'll throw open the curtains, look at 41K, and just go, first thing we need to do is there are three that I'd like you to reach out to. Technically four. They'll be working on our team. Are these people in the company, ma'am? No, they are not, but if I do have the correct information, they'll be needing a job relatively soon. Subcontractors. Exactly. Perfect. Oh, uh, one more thing. And they hand you a laptop 
And I was like, this is your personal laptop for work purposes. Um, they have already highlighted a few things for you to take a look at when you have some time. Thank you. Is there anything else you need from me, ma'am? No, not at this moment. All right. Um, if you need me, I'm star three on your phone on the desk there. And they kind of scamper off. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that some at some point here gave Magic the other documents, the letters to read. Yeah. Um, so now that she finally has this moment alone, she takes those out uh, and begins to read Kraken's letter uh, <laughs> when <Manifesto>. she... Yes. <laughs> Which actually is on the Discord if y'all want to go read it. Um, and out falls a sticky note. Um, she finishes reading Krakens and kind of puts it down with a laugh. Of, of course, like, Kraken's kind of be losing his shit like that. <laughs> and then she reads the sticky note. And she reads it again. And then she reads it again. And the resolve that was on her face throughout this entire time finally cracks. As she's holding and she goes, I fucked up. God damn it. At this point, your laptop beeps. Jumps, opens it, tries to get back composure of magic. Um, when you open the laptop as you're doing so, it um, you can see it's just finishing a fingerprint registration. Registering the laptop to you, so now that you can only you can open it. Um, first thing that pops up is an open folder with a couple of um it's just it's got sorry it's it's an open folder and in it is a subfolder that says pandora's box and the beep is a memo from the um the building's uh sort of i want to call it slack it's not exactly slack but if you know what slack <laughs> is you'll understand yeah, what i'm talking about yep, i know what exactly um <laughs> And it's like, the CEO would like to see you in their office. Great. Let's go. Okay. Now we are going to cut to exit. So, you are in front of the... Actually... Um... I'm reading the notes and I'm trying to remember where I was going to do, go with it. Woo! I'm going to get some water first. Okay, sorry about that. Thank you for waiting, first of all. Um, so we have you currently at the precipice. You have um, the voicemail from the, the garage to pick up Molly. And then you spoke to Viper about getting some training yes and she um also did a lot of um because she has a brain dance recorder and mm -hmm. her memory chip she rewatched. um well she kind of re-experienced which wasn't fun for her but mostly for um trying to get lever the upper hand, reviewing their tactics like of the Raff and Shiv that um, she once called family. Oh, okay. Unwantingly, yeah. but, um, and just keeping note of all of their tactics, what resources they have. Um, Let's 
go with, I'm going to try and get you to roll. Uh, in education, either deduction or tactics. Whichever you choose. Tactics is better. 18. 18. Decent roll. Um, so what you remember is... As she and, also was trained yeah, by them. The, you know, family sticks together. Meh. Oh. Um, so what you remember from the brain dance and from just your own first-hand experience of it, uh, your family's tactics were typically set up an ambush, destroy the first and the last vehicles in the convoy, so they don't have anywhere to go, um, kill all the adults take anyone under the age of majority and then those people or those unfortunate bastards get re-educated and when they're 19 or 20 years old oh my god they become raiders Sorry, I'm listening. I yeah. just, I realized that that has other implications. <laughs> um, you don't know where these kids go because they don't stick with the family because that would slow them down. But you do remember that flashback when that cyber psycho was, hunt cyber psycho was hunting you. Give me the broken ones. Which, to your parents, was just hand off anybody that they didn't want to keep. And the thing that doesn't seem right to you is they don't come into the city. Raffin, like, nomads in general are pretty, um, the... Nomads in general are kind of distrusted in in Night City, mostly because of the Raff and Shiv. Everybody gets painted with the same brush. Raff and Shiv in the city is damn near impossible. So they had to be here for a very good reason. And this guy knew you. But you also noticed from your brain dance from last night is by themselves they're pretty disorganized. You know, he was he got overexcited, he allowed himself to get pinned to his own truck, you know, and utterly humiliated. And a pack doesn't work like that. It's at this point that you receive a quick message from Viper uh, saying, I have some time now. If you come quickly, I will give you a brief lesson. I'll be there. So we fast forward to the front of the dojo. Um, Kraken and Red Death have already finished their little um, thing. And if you want, they can meet you there. Because mm. I remember Red Death said he was going to... Well, exit was kind of thinking it would be two different things because different fighting styles but okay. all right so you get to the the dojo you've been here a couple of times already you know you know what it's like um where is my notes where is it in my notes 
Okay, I wrote it down. Where is it? That's you are doing episode. great. That's the wrong episode. That's why. I'm looking at the wrong notes. Okay. So, unlike the last couple of times where you've been there, there were tiger claws hanging around all over the place. This time, there isn't a single fancy bike or souped up sports car anywhere. What you do see are heavily armored family cars. Like, the most tanked out Windstar you've ever seen in your life kind of family cars. Um, when you enter, you can hear training, just in general. You know, the impact of a hand against a wood block, um, the clinking of weights. Uh, with your um, enhanced cyber audio, you can hear automatic, automatic gunfire from downstairs. So they're obviously learning to shoot. Um, you get to the same, the main area where um, you remember Viper almost choking out your car guy. And Not this Roach. time, yeah, this time he's standing in front of two rows of little kids in karate geese. You've got to be kidding me. He's running them through a short kata, mm -hmm. you know, as they, and you hear, you know, little kids squealing, you know, attempts at, you know, haya, all that stuff. Um, and then after that, they stand at attention, bow at him, and then run to the small cluster of professional nannies and corporate bodyguards waiting in the wings. She was hoping that uh, she wasn't going to be put with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, nothing worse. I'm... Welcome, our I'm new student exit. I am going to share a little story. I first learned kar or tried to learn karate when I was 13, and I was a beanpole. So the dojo I went to, it was literally my five foot six ass and then a whole bunch of like little eight-year-olds so i literally was like a tall person and then more shorts so i totally feel that <laughs> sorry good yeah sorry about that no worries no worries um as they leave you see uh, Viper, you know, he sort of watches them. The second they're gone, he takes off the top of his gi. So it's just the regular pants. So you can see all the tattoos. And he's like, this is a certified training facility. I intend it to keep it that way. The last thing I need is inspectors. There will be none of that. Now, you said you wanted trading. Eddie's yes. or a favor? This is, isn't this your favor in return? You just like returning a favor. Yes. Now, like it's a, a give and get back sort of situation. We're yes. even now. We'll see. Okay. I totally forgot that he owed you. Mm -hmm. just, just, yeah. Um, so you can... Um, First improve... punch is free. The rest of them cost eddies. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can improve your brawling by two. Or um, give you... Uh, I can give you two ranks in a martial arts style. Martial arts styles have a different... Uh, combat resolution, but like um, melee weapons, they ignore half of an enemy armor. So it gives you more options when you don't have a blade to use. Uh, so the martial arts is... Yeah, I'll martial do... arts... 
Go ahead. I'll go with the martial arts. Martial arts. Okay, so martial arts. Do do do. Mini combat. So there are a couple of different ones. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, if you go to the Cyberpunk Red rulebook, in Friday Night Firefight, in melee combat, right down at the bottom. Unfortunately, I cannot read. Okay. I'm I'm kidding. I, I I'll do it. Okay. Um, there are a number of different um forms you can go for, like Taekwondo. There's Judo, uh, Karate, and Aikido. Um, I forgot that this was happening. I would have put most of it already in your thing before that, if I had remembered. They are also called NOP. <laughs> I love them. So. Um... So, yeah. You can tell you can tell that it was written in the nineties because martial arts are so overpowered. Yeah, in reality, martial artists tend to get their butts kicked when yeah. compared with anybody with a knife or a baseball bat or guns. Yep. Yeah. She is getting training in case she runs out of ammo. Yes. You never know when you're going to be without a gun. Exactly. She usually, she stays strapped. Well. It's Night City. Why wouldn't yeah. she? I think Aikido in Cyberpunk is an attack that you can attack the uh, spine column. And the enemy loses a turn. If you, it, it's like the monk attack from D and D. Yeah, Aikido is. It's fun because they're different, like um, yeah, forms. Yeah, different forms. Ooh. It's very cool. Yeah. Anyways, so. How this goes is it's a, a combination of Viper actually running you through different ways to strike somebody while also giving you brain dances to um, to kind of speed up the process a little bit. The dirty chiropractor. And um, yeah, I'll just let you figure out that one for yourself because... You know, this is difficult. Yeah, that's okay. I should have brought that up earlier, but you weren't here before the show started. That's my I'm name. sorry. That's okay. No, no, no. Don't be sorry. It's a crunchy if... system. Yeah. You just need to think on it. And my eyes just don't function well reading screens. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Don't worry. You will figure it out. So... While you guys are training, Viper does let you know that if you're looking for a gig, he wants somebody to go to um, one of the build sites for the uh, the mega structure because your neighborhood isn't the only one that got these demolition notices, mm -hmm. and they didn't inform Viper what was happening. He doesn't appreciate not being in the know. So he wants you to go to the Zirafa labor camp, get rid of the laborers, steal their shit, break some stuff, you know, make things difficult, make somebody pay for it. But that's up to you. That could be arranged. Got a lot of stuff on my plate, but what's in the bag? <laughs> it's always plates to juggle. It's, thus is the life of a fixer. I really, I really like Taekwondo. I don't have the stats. Oh no. I don't have the stuff points for it. 
Pressure point strike is good. That is actually pretty cool. Will eight. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into how you can up the. I have will six. And I have move five. Oh no! Come on, that's. I made a fixer. Yeah, you made a fixer. Not a solo. Um, if you want to swap back out to get to the two points in brawling, you can. I'm not gonna force mm. you to your decision. Two points? Would that be levels? Yeah, two ranks. Um, okay. Just because this stuff is hurting my head. Yeah. A huge. little bit. I'll take two in brawling. Yeah. Okay. Four to six. All right. So with that, we are going to move back to magic. The you got to Adrian's room or Adrian's office, which was the first one. The other one's way at the end, long, imposing hallway. Do you knock on the door? Yes. Hello, Laura. You hear at Indy's voice on the other side. Not my name anymore, but. All right. There's unlocked. She walks in. Just keeping the same attitude she has been. Um, when you walk in, you see 41K talking to Indy. Um, Indy hands them a um, sheaf of like a data sheaf, you know, fancy plastic, but not plastic. It's got words on it. Um, and then they nod, head to walk out of the room, nod to you again. Yeah, nods back. Come in, sit down. She stands and just holds the back of the chair. Okay, then. So, you want my job. Why? I mean, as a face of a company, honestly, you're doing a rather shit job of it. Argent Key is a joke in the streets? I know for a fact that you all are being trolled. You can see him run his tongue under his lip. And he's just... I hear that's your fault. Or at least the fault of your gorilla. Well, no. It's not my fault. And I wouldn't call him a gorilla either that's <sighs> you almost make what he's done sound dumb what he did was brilliant reminds me of our brother reminds me of you so you want my job I want to be the face. And I already have the full story of it, too. If you want, we can even share the position. Might look even better. Not how the rules work. No, but... I mean, City the rebellious little... The rebellious daughter coming home to fix everything. That is what people want. Nauseating. And Look, that's why you want this you want the job? Fine. You're gonna have to talk to Dad. Oh, I know. I already planned to. 
Listen, I know you've got plans. I wouldn't be a silver lock if I didn't. If you get out of line, and this is from Dad, you step out of line, and that cyber psycho of yours, people will start to find out what happened in Munich and Budapest and Beijing and Italy. So Why so many trips to Italy? A lot of jobs there. Some of those people have very po had very powerful friends. I'm sure they'd love to find out <laughs> who was responsible for. And like how they wouldn't want to find out about you and your experiments in the basement. He's... Should I call you your screen name? Victor? You think I'm dumb enough not to find information on you as well? Give me a human perception check. Twelve. Damn it. Twelve. Maybe you, you can can't use luck. You can't read him. It's probably too far, honestly. <laughs> Open your little box. Find your little secrets. And remember, we can burn all of them. Just remember it takes a single spark to start a wildfire. And she walks out. Where do you go? Uh, she's going back to her office. Um, and from her corporate email, she is sending a message to exit. Okay. Um, as you're writing this email, the folder called Pandora's box, it's just sitting in the corner. You, know, you you can't help your eyes just keep getting drawn to it. Yeah, after a while, while she's trying to write the email to be like professional and be like, I'm trying to do the right thing, that bit of the old magic kind of pops back in and she opens it. Okay. So the things that you find, it's another it's a set of it's another set of subfolders. The first one. <laughs> I can't have Zoom chat open now. <coughs> can't trust you guys to have Zoom chat open. Pandora's no box. It's literally just pictures of Pandora's box. You, you can't know, trust yourself to have Zoom chat open. <laughs> Is it? Don't it, blame it, yourself. <laughs> Don't blame us. Yes. Is it the box with the exes from the other uh, show? The first. <laughs> The first folder is Carnage Heights. The second folder is The Raven. The third folder is Puppets. The Raven first. You open the folder and it has Poe's usual contact info apparently you leave a um agent and you know it's just this series of dead drops and garbage to get the to physically contact this person um you find out that poe has been after you and red death for years for the sole purpose of getting you back 
he was explicitly told not to kill you. Okay. Puppets, next. Puppets. This one has multiple folders in it as well, but the second folder doesn't have a name, and when you try to open it, it stays locked. Okay. The first folder has um, a detailed plan on um, training and... Um, rehabilitating uh, these new, what they continually refer to as new hires, along with a bunch of performance reviews. Um, all of the ages that you see are within 16 to 19 years of age. And most of the reviews are not particularly glowing. Rejected. Okay. Rejected. Doesn't follow orders. Shot during training. Um, uh, extended medical leave due to missing limbs. You know, and then there's another budget thing on having to, you know, what it's going to cost to grow those back. And all of the photos are just angry... You know, they're, you know, dirty, they're just mad, and all of them have, like, doesn't follow orders, um, uh, easily bribed, things like that. And then the final, comp the final file in that folder is a complaint from Adrian unsent I don't know what kind of stupid deal you have with these damn bandits I don't care we need better blood we're never gonna make it in this city they're never gonna trust us with financials we've got to make a name for ourselves and all I get is this crap do better no recipient. And the first one was? Carnage Heights. Carnage Heights. Yeah, she'll go back up to that one. And we are going to... Actually, I don't have another scene. I'm going to finish the scene. We can first. end it today. Um, this one is. Yeah, it talks about how property values in the Carnegie Heights area were within purchasable standards until Giraffa started. Um, working on these mega buildings, then property value started to rise. So Indy got this great idea to start a false flag. A poser gang with some radical leader. Perfect cover. They'll drive the property values down. They'll scare off the corporations. We get these you know, and then there's like a couple of like random names that they decide, you know, we'll like, workshop it. We get these idiots to run havoc and then we come in and save the day. People will start getting contracts with us. We'll get more money. We'll be able to hire better personnel. And then from there, we can start legitimizing the business. That is um, kind of the last straw for her as she goes to write this email to exit. 
realizes it that I can't put any of the, what I know in here now. I'm in too deep. I have to play my role. And so she scraps kind of the less formal email that she had written, writes a very professional one, effect effectively inviting um, Exit, Kraken, and Red Death to Argent Key for interviews with the new t team that is being built under uh, their new face, Magic Silverlock. Is there anything else you do before the end of the day? She she will do one more thing with checking with Indy. So like runs back up there and um, kind of doesn't even knock this time, just opens the door, shoves her head in. Where can I use to like a studio? Argent Key needs something just besides military. We need something entertainment. He just like the fourth and ninth floors aren't being used right now. Brilliant. I will use those. And she goes off to record her first song. Perfect. Um I want to end off here because I think it's a really good spot. Um, we will get to the email. So that will be next uh, next session. So I want to thank you guys for coming here tonight. It feels really weird because normally I have music playing. It and was I don't, so, so it's super quiet. It's just, it's throwing me off. Um, yeah. Thank you jacob thank you sarah thank you brill thank you ruth thank you kevin um this episode was a couple weeks in the making um life happened and then life happened and then life keeps happening can it just yeah. not happen for a bit that'd be great um but i thank you guys for sticking or, or you know waiting through thank um, you guys and it was perfect i love thanks. being there yes, thank you it was um, really great I tried to do things a little bit different this time, shortening the scenes, you know, try to move everybody back and forth a little bit faster. I got super lost in my notes. So thank you guys for being understanding. Um, thank you, chat. Um, those of you watching at home, everybody's at home. What the fuck? Those of you yeah. watching either on Twitch through the VOD or on YouTube when Kevin uploads it. Um, thank you for watching. Um, leave a comment let me know what I could do or you know not do better um, and tell him how an amazing job he's doing everybody struggles as and GMing live GMing and Twitch is just so hard like normal GMing is hard but live streaming and being a GM is amazing and maybe you get a little lost it's it's barely noticeable. You you got great flow, like you are doing an am amazing. It's it's a very difficult thing, and I applaud you. It was a great session. My imposter syndrome doesn't agree with you, but I will take the compliment. I know, yes. I, I, I do. And if anyone want, and if anyone in the comments disagrees, please find me in the Denny's parking lot. And we can fight. <laughs> yeah. You won't. Still, see. this is Dennis. You'll just. That's You'll just catch these hands. <laughs> and this wrench. So. <laughs> yeah, see, this is how exactly it goes. It's Red Death, you'll find me. Exit will shoot you in the back. And then Kraken will just beat you with a wrench. That's how it works. Exit will come out <laughs> of fucking nowhere. And Magic can use to film it. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. And Magic films it and goes, ha ha! Yes, and then it adds funny sound effects and bloopers. <laughs> Vine yeah. boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, They're shocked when they get hit. Or just it's a nice good Wilhelm scream and as we throw them off the roof of the Denny's. Yes.
So on that, you know, colorful note, this is the kind of show I run here. Um, Yeah, (laughs) someone's going to get hurt real bad. Um, If you have the energy to do so, be kind to each other. But if you can't, at the very least, be nice to each other. Have a great night. See you on Thursdays. Good night. Good night, y'all. Good night. Bye.